In this tutorial, I'm interested in creating a button that will replay this movie. So if you haven't yet watched the previous tutorial, I have an animation that plays through a green circle and then it goes to a blue circle and then it stops. So we added some code to make this movie stop. But I want to add a button to provide some interaction that says replay. And then once I hit the button, this movie will play all over, starting with the green circle and then the blue circle. So I'm going to add a new layer. I'm going to call it button. And I want to go back to frame one for this button. And you can design your button any way you want to design it. I'm going to make a red button. And I want it to say replay. And I'm going to center the word, make it make my button look a little bit better. I have the button. So, and it starts on frame one. And I'm going to click on this frame. And as soon as when I click on it, you can see it selects everything. It selects the button, but it also selects the word. So if I didn't do that and clicked on the background, it's not selecting the, both the word and the button. So I'm going to click on the keyframe. That's the easiest way to select something. And I have to convert it to a symbol. So I'm going to right click on the button. And there's an option that says convert to symbol. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it replay. Also want to make sure in this box that I'm checking off the button. So there's a movie clip button and a graphic. In this case, I want the button and say OK. So now it made it a button. Before I forget anything, I need to while it's selected, so I can click off and click back on it. And I'm using my cursor to do that. There's an option that says instance name. And I, I want to put something in there. I can call it anything. I can call it Bubba. I can call it window. I can call it cursor. But it makes sense to call it replay. Well, that's what the button is going to do. It's going to replay the movie. I'm using all lowercase letters to do that, but I have to remember whatever I put in here needs to match some code that I'm going to add in momentarily. So I'm going to click off in the scratch area and just kind of check it. So I'm clicking on the button and make sure that there's something in this instance name area. And there is, so I can go on to the next step. So the next step is adding in some code. I want the code to go on the, there should only be one keyframe. If I shrink this up a little bit, there's only one keyframe on this button layer. If there's a second keyframe, it's going to throw it off. So I want to click on that keyframe and I want to go to the actions panel. So I can go to windows action. I can hit F9 or I can right click and click on actions. And I need to get to this place with the code. So I don't want to hand type this in. So I've already put this code in the description for the video. Um, so I, I'm just going to go in here and copy it and come back to animate and paste it. But I have to do a little bit of editing. I didn't make it that easy for you, but I did give you a little bit of code that you can mess with. And for starters, all I need to do is change this right here. So the name button name, it's giving you a hint as to what to do. And I want to call it replay. The same thing that I just had in my instance name a moment ago, replay. So it has to match. If you called it Bubba, if you called it Window, if you called it something else, you would type that in here. So that needs to match this name right here for it to work. And then I can play it. If I play it, I can click on it anytime and the movie starts over. And that's how you add a simple button to your files.